السلام عليكم In this quick video, I will answer the following questions. What is istikhara? How to do it? And what should I expect after it? Should I wait for a dream or a sign after istikhara? And finally, what are the azlam mentioned in Quran chapter 5 verse 90? Before Islam, Arabs had a very bad habit. Whenever a man was about to make an important decision in his life, Should I do business with this person or not? Should I marry this girl or not? Should I make this deal or not? And he really can't make this decision based on available information or logic. He would use luck to make this decision for him. They had something called Al-Azlam, the divining arrows. A carry bag that had three arrows. Yes, written on one arrow. No, written on one arrow. And the third one is empty or try again. Something like a magic eight ball now. The man would pick a random arrow from the back and base his life decision on the arrow's choice. Then God revealed Quran chapter 5 verse 90. All believers, surely intoxicants, gambling, idols, and divine arrows are evil from Satan's work. So avoid it so you may be successful. So I can't use a magic eight ball or roll a dice to help me make a decision? The answer is absolutely not. What if I can't decide on a matter? Let's say I'm about to choose a career path. They say it's a good choice, but I'm still not sure if it's good for me or not. What should I do? God gave us a much, much, much better alternative to luck that will point you to the correct path while also giving you a great reward. This alternative is called istikhara. Instead of risking your life decisions, and base them on luck, you can ask Allah directly to choose for you. And this way you know that the one making the decisions for you is the all-knowing most wise. And at the same time, while doing that, you record a lot of good deeds. Win-win. Then how to do istikhara? You pray two rak'at. Then you say, Dear God, I seek your infinite knowledge and your infinite ability. I seek your great favors on us. You are able while we are not. You are all-knowing while we are not. And you have knowledge of the unseen. Dear God, I will make this decision. If you know that this decision is good for me in my dunya and my hereafter, then decree it for me and facilitate it for me with ease, then bless its result. But if you know that this decision is bad for me in dunya and hereafter, then get it away from me and get me away from it. Then decree for me what is best for me. Then make me satisfied with it. And this last part, then make me satisfied with it, is the most beautiful part because sometimes you know something is bad for you but you still want it. So you're also asking God to decree the best for you and make you satisfied with it. How beautiful is that? I will write down the dua for you in the description in case you want to save it for the future. How often should I use istikhara? Do it in every decision of your life. Not only you will be consulting the all-knowing God in your matter, but also you will get a huge reward. Can I say istikhara dua in my own language? Yes. Say it in your way, in your language. It doesn't have to be in Arabic. Of course, that doesn't apply to the two rak'at before the dua. What should I expect after istikhara? After istikhara, go on with your decision. Go as far as you can. If it's good for you, it will work out. If it's bad, you will find a lot of obstacles that will cause this matter to be stopped. For example, I made istikhara about a guy who wanted to marry me. After istikhara, go on with your marriage preparation. If it's good for you, it will work out. If it's bad, you will find one million problems that will prevent this marriage from happening. So rest assured, what will happen is the best for you. Should I wait for a sign or a dream after istikhara? No, no signs, no dreams. Just go on with your matter as far as you can. If it works, this is your answer. If it stops, this is your answer. If you think this content is helpful, please don't let it stop with you. Help it spread by engaging with it with likes, shares and comments. And if you want to watch a complete breakdown of Sharia Law, check out this playlist up there. And if you want to watch more Q&A videos, check out this playlist down there. 
Thanks and Salam alaikum.